Hey everyone, it is a week until Comic-Con and I'm really getting uh, desperate to getting this done. So I'm doing things a little bit quicker. Now there's a technique that I wanted to use here for, uh, I, I painted the helmet, uh, you know, just started painting anyway. And uh, there's this, this piece of metal that is keeping the eyepiece in. And just keeping the structure of it and so I want to uh, cover up that unsightliness. So I've just created a, a piece here uh, Inspired by seven of nine when she was a Borg and Just a piece to go to attach right there go all the way over and just kind of just be a, a decorative piece a technique that I saw a while ago was uh, a guy who was making armor and he had this on the shoulder piece just to give it a really cool textured look and the way he did that was to it was just score it with the with the, the knife and score it and then using a heat gun causes the foam to naturally pull apart and create these grooves so I'm going to do the same kind of thing for this but to make it look like circuitry so as you can see, I've already cut some, some things out there. I have some ideas of where I'm going to put some other components. Pulled apart really well. A little bit where I didn't quite cut it all the way, but it should be fine. I did a little bit of painting first. Uh, I got so excited about getting it done that I started gluing pieces on already. Sorry about that. Okay, so I've got a coil I want to put on here. Instead of gluing this one, I'm just going to bend the wire over. So it's going to go on here. That's going to look pretty nice. I'm going to be using a combination of hot glue and some super glue. And that went on about as well as could be expected. I took one pretty big step here off camera and that is to glue on my electronics. And there's, you know, there's a lot of glue in there, but this is all going to get covered up. I also added the, the platform for the eye laser. And right now, my next step is to, I, I just shortened the the wire here so that you know it's not too much excess. I'm going to mount that there probably something like that and have another tube have the wire inside another tube. So while I'm waiting for the soldering iron to warm up I'm going to go and check on my painting. Throughout my activities today I have painted each segment of the body armor. I've got a bit there. <sighs> And if you're wondering why I've done it on my deck, I'm actually in the process of, of uh, demolishing my deck. I'm going to rebuild.
I know this is a bit hard to see because everything is black, but I've uh, wrapped the wire for the laser, installed the laser. For any of you who didn't see some of the earlier videos, this is my vocal modulator. It is a motor inside that has a, uh, that, that's unbalanced and so it, it vibrates and this goes right against my throat and it makes my voice sound pretty cool. You go and, and uh, look back in some of the videos in this playlist and you can see that video and I do a demonstration of it as well. I just figured out a thing or two off camera here. Uh, with the voice modulator, it's gonna have to be pushing up right against my throat. Uh, and but the only way to keep it there will eventually uh, you know pinch off all the blood to my brain so I put some velcro on here a velcro strap it is elastic and when I do it up about right there so the, this is my neck and this is on, on the front uh, it, it tightens it up against my neck and if it doesn't work you know I can tighten it a little bit more so that it, it pushes harder and and uh, modulates my voice more then when I uh, am not in character or just not using it, I can let it go and I put a piece of uh, a piece of Velcro on the um, on the the mesh that goes around my neck. Then when it's undone, I can stick it on there and the, this won't fall off. It'll just kind of dangle around my neck a little bit. I'm not going to do any gluing on this just yet, just in case there's a change that I want to make, but before I wear the costume I will make sure that that's permanently on there. Now since this is looking so good so far, and uh, I've got a lot of other things I need to work on, I will think about this, mull it over, figure out what I can do to cover it so it doesn't look ugly, but still allow it to look really neat. So I'll be coming back to the helmet mask after I do some other work on the body, now that the paint has dried for that. <laughs> 